Okay. Wait for it. Okay. It's in the freaking Bible, Eric. Go <laughs> forth and be fruitful and multiply. You are yeah. disobeying God if you do <laughs> not have sex with this woman. <laughs> yeah, she's an atheist. She doesn't care about that. Well, you do. <laughs> I want to <laughs> use that as a rationalization with a Christian woman. If we don't have sex right now, you're disobeying God. Do you want to make God sad? You know, if she's an atheist, she has nowhere to go. She has no morals. That make it easier. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to help. No, 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 well, no, because cause I'd actually talk you to her. You don't tell her that. <laughs> that that was actually, the other thing was was that I, I think I did kind of impress her. Because I, 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 I was like, like, I suck at talking about politics, so I was in the piss of people off. But I can talk about religion without offending anybody. She's like, I guarantee you, you talk to me about religion for, 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 for a minute, and, and I'll be offended. I talked to her about religion for like a half hour. And and she didn't get offended, so. But then that next forty minutes, she started to slap you. No, no. Then th- 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 then I had to go. But yeah, so I, I was. I'm good at talking about religion because I'm respectful of everyone's opinions, except for Scientologists. The yeah, because yes. that that was written by a boy loving pedophile. Uh, 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 I I I'm I I'm actually more likely to believe in Jediism than I am to believe in Scientology, and Jediism is bullshit. Jediism is just for fun, except for those sad people that exactly are, like Nate live in their mother's basement. Nate doesn't. Nate has brought, his own. Nate, Nate hasn't brought that Nate to the surface yet, but Nate, Nate, Nate no. is a Jediist. Yeah, fuck Jedi's. You're whiny. Bastard. Oh, that's right. No, no, dude. dude you know what Jediist is, Nate? Say what? You know what Jediist is? <clears throat> no, what is it? it they are people it? in the real world that actually believe in the Force. Yeah, isn't it called Taoism? No, no, it's called Jedi. No, they literally believe in the Star Wars Force. Nice. Do they get tax breaks? No. Well, well, actually, oh, well actually, then what's the fucking point? Well, well, so see, here's the thing. I don't know about in America, but England made a rule that, like, they made a list of things that aren't religions. Jediism and Scientology was on there. I'm like, way to go, England. Yeah. You stick it to Scientology. These Star Wars guys, you should cut them a break, though. <laughs> it's Star <laughs> Wars. That shit sounds cool. You're your life sucks. That was the other thing. I brought that up to her because we were talking about religion, and, and, and I, I, I said the thing. I, I'm like, did you ever see a, a gold member? Because uh, I, I always compare my, my thoughts on religion to gold member. Uh, that, that scene in gold member where he, where he says, uh, there are two things I hate. People are intolerable with other people's cultures and the Dutch. I've, I, I always use that for, for, for religion. I'm like, there are two things I hate. People are intoler- intolerant of other people's beliefs and Scientologists. Yes, and so 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 I'm kind of talking to you about religion and and the the, the spaghetti monster, um, and, and Wait, the what the oh, the, the pastafarians? Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, okay. and, and I was I was explaining to her to her the Cthulhu mythos and why that's the most genius religion of all time. Um, the which one? The what? Uh, the Cthulhu mythos. Uh, Cthulhu was is, is a fake religion that was invented in stories by H.P. Lovecraft. And oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, the stuff from uh, from the Necronomicon, right? Call of Cthulhu from Metallica, that song. Kind of. Um, okay. Yeah. And, and the basic idea of Cthulhu is that is is, is that these these aliens came down to Earth, and they're the great old ones. And two people were too stupid to realize they're aliens, so they worshipped them as gods. And basically, the whole point of, of of this religion is that he's making fun of people. He's saying that that we're so stupid, we'll worship anything. There are people that believe that the old ones spoke through Lovecraft, and that that's a, that it, it's a real religion. They actually exist. I'm not even joking. So oh, it, no, I, I I completely understand. I think my sister used to follow that stuff like it, way back it, in the day. It's it, it, it's the, it's to me it's the best religion of all time because it was a religion made to make fun of how people follow anything and people follow it. That just genius. Um, but but like, like like I'm talking to her about about this stuff and. Uh, and I brought up Jediism, and, she, and she, she, she's like, if I believed in anything, I, I'd believe in that. I'm like, really? She's like, well, maybe not the Force exactly, but that kind of idea, which I guess would be Taoism. Yeah. Atheism is lazy. <laughs> <laughs> it kicks ass. <laughs> no effort needed. Uh, uh, wouldn't you be more of an agnostic, Nate? Probably, yeah. A, 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 a Taoistic? There's a higher... Agnostic is where you believe there's a higher power, but you don't know what it is, right? I, I, I think it, it, you believe that there's something other than just a lack of existence after Nate's, you die. Nate's between religions at the moment. Yeah. What are you <laughs> between? Uh, I don't know. Atheism, <laughs> Taoism? Yeah, so, somewhere Atheism in between. Atheism isn't that. a religion. Atheism is nothing. 
Yeah. Atheism yeah. is zero. It has no meaning. It, but it, zero does have a meaning. It's in 10 I, and 20 and 30. Yeah. So I think probably the two closest things would be either Taoism or what's the other one? I'm so converting that religion. Just be a jackass. Jediism? Cthulhuism? Past- yeah, je- Jediism. Okay, yeah. You should totally convert to, to Jediism. That would be awesome. That would be. My respect for you would go up miles, Nate. Do, do, do they have a, a, a Mandalorian-ism? <laughs> oh, I, I want to be in that. <laughs> yeah, same here. A Mandalorianism? I, oh, I don't man. know. Yeah. I, I know what <laughs> Mandalorians are. I'm just saying, like, like the, 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 that wouldn't be a religion. Apparently, it can be. Jedi is one. Yeah, yeah, because because no, but 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 Je- Jediism is is the general just belief in in the Star Wars Force. Mandalorians yeah. Mandalorians would be like saying samurai is a religion. It it it's a way of life. Or, or Klingons. Not... Yeah. Okay, so so what do they call it when you're one of those guys who practices the the Klingon or Mandalorian way of life? Because I guess there are people who do that. Um, you call well, well, you call the Mandalorians awesome. You call the Klingons losers. I mean. <laughs> Wait, what? I, 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 I said you call the Mandalorians awesome. You call the Klingons losers. So. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Speaking there of which, have you guys read any of the Republic Commando series? No, I have not. I have standards. Okay. Oh, that's a great series. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Yeah, Eric has standards. He doesn't read. No, oh. no, no, no. If there's no Jedi, it's boring. Wait, what? Oh, come on. No, no, re- 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 really, I, I I, find Star Wars fiction to be very boring without lightsaber fights. Oh, okay, well, this one has some. Does it now? It does. This is actually one of my... I, 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 well, the fourth book in the series, Order 66, is like my new favorite book ever. It's that good. Wait, it's set in the pre-trilogy? Yeah, yeah. Because what it is, is it all... I thought it, we agreed those don't exist, Nate. The The... If there was anything pre episode four that totally kicked ass, it'd be the Republic Commando series. Have have have, have you ever read um, uh, the Darth Bane books? No, no, I haven't. Uh, I, I there's I think there's two of them now. I only read the first one, and and, and that was that was awesome. They were supposed to have a book on the Gray Jedi, which I really want that to get published because that's that that's that, interesting. That, yeah. that 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 that's my Jedi. Like like the ones are like I I kind of like the dark side. I kind of like the light side. I'm, I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna be me. I'm like yeah, I like the Jedi. They're gonna be me. Yeah. I don't know. They, I I recommend reading the Republic Commando series because it's pretty cool. <clears throat> is is it the comic book or is it the novel series? Uh, novel series. There there's five books. Well there's there's four Republic Commando books. Then there's one Imperial Commando book. Uh, and then there was going to be a second one, which was going to finish off like the whole series, like all six books together. Right. Uh, but right as she was getting ready to write it, the people who are in charge of like Star Wars and stuff said, well, here's the problem. We're getting ready to release uh, uh, season two of the Clone Wars, and we have something in there that's going to basically decant in like, everything having to do the with Clone the Clone Wars. Clone Wars decant de- any- everything anyways. On top of that, George Lucas yeah. has already said, if it's not in film, he doesn't consider it canon, hence the Mandalorians. Yeah. God damn, how do you ruin that? Like, like that was one of the best backstories, and he's just like, nope, that didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, well, it, so, t- actually, tomorrow, or Friday night's the, the episode where, like, decanons all these books, and so the writer uh, for the Republic Commando series, she was like, you know what, I, I just can't find a way to work it in, I've got other stuff I want to f- write, so fuck it, I'm just not going to finish this series. I'm all Sucks for off. you. Yeah, no kidding. But like the pre, uh, so far I'm on the the fifth book and it's still really good. I'm just never gonna get a sixth book. Hey, hey, it could be worse. Mm-hmm. I'm trying. I'm trying. No, it could. No, no, it could. J- you, you, you could be flirting with a hot atheist chick and not have a car to take her out on a date. God with. damn it! That would Burn. be worse. <laughs> oh. Hey, Jared, oh, what about chicks with dicks? Let's not talk about that. <laughs> Wait, what? It's okay. If, if we're gonna open up this can of fish, let's put it this way, Nate. Let me wait, ask you this wait, question. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, you, you shut up. No, no. Let me else. stop, and we'll, we'll start fresh with a new part. Okay. If you have a problem with chicks with dicks, do not watch the next part. <laughs>